U.S. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke moves to extend a mining ban along the border of Yellowstone National Park. With the stroke of his pen today, some 30,000 acres of federal lands near Yellowstone now off limits to mining for the next two decades. Now, there are places to mine gold across the West, but along the border of Yellowstone Park is not one of them. That today, the message from Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke as he signs a 20-year moratorium on mining near the park. MTN's Chet Lehman tonight has more for us from Montana's Paradise Valley. Far from the turmoil of Washington, D.C., Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke gathered with several members of the Yellowstone Gateway Business Coalition, not far from where a proposed gold mine would have been. Public lands is not a Republican or a Democrat issue, it's an American issue. And there are some things that are more important than politics. Those gathered pointed to the importance of nearby Yellowstone National Park and the Yellowstone River downstream from this gathering. Secretary Zinke declared this place special. I graduated with a degree in geology and I'm a pro-mining guy. I love hard rock, but there's places to mine and there's places not to mine. And you have to look at the American conservation ethic of best science, best practices, greatest good, longest term. All the work completed today focusing on this, the Yellowstone River. But it didn't just happen overnight. In fact, when Ryan Zinke first became involved in this, he was Congressman Zinke. Today, signing it as Secretary of the Interior Zinke, using what he says is the full power of his office. Today, we're going to put at peace, within the extent of my power as the Secretary of Interior, a 20-year moratorium. If I could make it permanent, I would. Following described national forest system lands are hereby withdrawn uh, from location and entry under the United States Mine Laws. Signed, Ryan Zinke, Secretary of Interior. Zinke noted a permanent decision would have to come from Congress. In the Paradise Valley, Chet Lehman, MTN News. Thank you very much, Chet. Now, supporters and opponents of that mining ban were also on hand for today's big announcement, on hand to voice their own opinions, and among the opponents, the CEO of Lucky Minerals himself. New technology allows us to have methods and processes that won't harm the environment. We have plenty of engineering controls that go into the process of mining. This isn't just my backyard or our backyard, it's America's backyard. And we should point out that a bill is currently moving through the U.S. Senate that would change Secretary Zinke's mining ban for the Yellowstone area from a temporary ban to a permanent one.